So let us talk about the cell organelles. The first and the most important cell organelle is the plasma membrane and this is also called as cell membrane. So plasma membrane or the cell membrane is the outermost covering of a cell. It is the outermost covering which separates the cell and its constituents from the external environment. So you are able to tell or say this is a cell. How can you cell? By identifying its border. This is the outermost covering by identifying its border. What is this border? This is the plasma membrane. So all the constituents, the jelly-like cytoplasm, nucleus, other cell organelles are enclosed by this cover, plasma membrane. So what are its functions? Plasma membrane, it has two major functions, protection, it protects and the most important function of the plasma membrane is permeability. Even though here the protection also done by the permeability. What is this permeability? Means allowing substances to get in and get out. You see any office, any corporate office, any government office, you will find some security outside the office. So you see that even houses, apartments also have some watchmen or security. So if somebody wanted to get into the office or into the apartment, the security people will stop. Who are you? Where are you coming from? So they find out whether the person is the right person to send inside or he may be a dangerous person not to send him inside. So the security, they will check. If everything is fine, they will allow. In the same way, materials cannot enter into the cell directly. If it happens so, the cell get damaged. So the cell is protected by that selective permeability nature of the plasma membrane. So what is this permeability? Selective permeability. And what it is allowing? Actually, what are the materials that travel inside and outside the cell? What materials will go inside the cell and what materials will come outside the cell? So what are the materials? Basically, three kind of materials travel across the cell membrane or plasma membrane. One is gases. The second is liquids like water and the third is minerals and other nutrients, minerals and other substances. So we write other. So first gases, what kind of gases they travel across the plasma membrane into the cell and outside the cell? Two main gases, oxygen, carbon dioxide. So cell, it carries out various activities. So for the activities, it needs energy. The energy is supplied to the cell by the process of cellular respiration. Means respiration takes place inside the cell. So for the respiration, what gas is required? The oxygen is required inside this cell. And during the respiration, what gas is produced? Carbon dioxide gas is produced. So the excess of carbon dioxide inside the cell is dangerous to the internal environment. So the excess carbon dioxide has to be expelled out, sent out of the cell. So the CO2 must go out and oxygen must enter the cell continuously. It's a continuous process where a cell takes oxygen, leaves the carbon dioxide. But how it happens? How the transfer of gases takes place? So the transfer of gases takes place between the external environment and the cell. It is done by a process called as diffusion, diffusion of gases. So how this diffusion works on basing what principle? The diffusion, it works on concentration. Already you studied about the diffusion process, even in physics, even in your chemistry part also. The best example you studied, see for example, if you light a incense stick, agarbatti, and if you place it in a corner, slowly you get the smell throughout the room uniformly spread. Means the smell molecules, they spread uniformly throughout the medium. Uniformly means 
from a place of higher concentration to place of lower concentration. If you take a beaker of water and put a drop of potassium, if you put a drop of ink or a few crystals of potassium permanganate, slowly the color spreads throughout the beaker uniformly. Means the color molecules spread uniformly. That is from a point of higher concentration to point of lower concentration to make an equilibrium. So in the same way, inside the cell, whatever the oxygen is there, this oxygen is being consumed by the cell for various activities. So here is also oxygen, here is also oxygen. Inside the cell, the oxygen is being used up. So the concentration of the oxygen falls down inside the cell. Oxygen, it diffuses from higher concentration to lower concentration. Because outside the cell, the concentration of oxygen is high. Inside the cell, the oxygen concentration is less. Why it is less? Because it is being used up in the process of respiration. In the same process of respiration, CO2 is being produced. As the oxygen is used up, CO2 is produced inside the cell. If you see the concentration of CO2 inside and outside, outside the outside environment is having less carbon dioxide compared to the internal environment of the cell. So, the carbon dioxide, it moves from cell to the outside of the cell. In this way, the exchange of gases takes place, which is based on the process called as so diffusion. So, what does this diffusion helps? How the diffusion helps? It helps in the exchange of gases. And how it works? It works on the principle of concentration. Inside the cell, as the energy is required, oxygen is used up continuously to produce energy. As the oxygen is being used up, the concentration of oxygen is less in the cell compared to the outside environment. So the oxygen is diffused into the cells. As the cells are using up oxygen to produce energy, in the same process, carbon dioxide is produced. So the percentage of carbon dioxide is high inside the cell compared to the external environment. So these carbon dioxide diffuses outside the cell. The same happens. If you take amoeba, is a single celled organism. It is having only one cell. Then how does this amoeba respire, get the energy? Amoeba takes the oxygen directly into the body, releases the carbon dioxide outside the body. How it happens? That is by the process of diffusion. The same, if it is amoeba or if it is our cell, whatever it may be, the process is same. The exchange of gases into the cell and outside the cell takes place by the simple process called as diffusion. So diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide. So now let us see, the same diffusion is also applied to water also. Water also follows the same diffusion. Water also should enter and leave the cell. Cell carries out so many activities. Cell not only require oxygen, cell also requires water. See, when you have uh, tra traveled in sun, hot sun, you will sweat, means you lose water from your bodies. From where does the water comes from? That is from your body, from your cells, the water comes out. Because of the heat, to keep your body cool, the water comes out of the cells. Now your cells are dehydrated. Then it triggers one urge in your mind, thirsty. So you feel thirsty means you wanted to drink some water. Why? Because the water is needed for the cells to get rehydrated. If the cell is dehydrated, cannot function properly. Right? So that is the reason you need to drink water. So cells, they lose water, they gain water. But how the water travels through this plasma membrane? So water also, the same principle based on the concentration. Inside the cell, here is the water. Outside the cell, also there is water. But how the movement of water molecules takes place inside the cell? Inside the cell, if the concentration of minerals, 
whatever the cytoplasm is there that cytoplasm concentration is more then the water molecules move inside the cell when there is more amount of water here compared to the outside environment the concentration of the external environment is higher than the cell then the water moves out it all depends upon the concentration so what is this concentration let us understand this with the help of an example if you like this video please give a thumbs up Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.